Shavasana. Evlogitos, Atheos, Simon, Pandadenin, Kei, Kei, to say on us, Toneon, no. Amen. Blessed are those whose way is blameless. Alleluia. Blessed are you, O Lord. <coughs> Teach me your commandments. Alleluia. My soul is now burning with a strong desire forever to obey your truths. Alleluia. Vinontin carthian mu, ista martiria su chemis pleon exian, alleluia. Afi mia catesque apotona martolon, toin catioli pondo, che tonomosu, alleluia. I am a companion of all who fear you and of those who keep, keep your commands. Alleluia. Vox a patrice, io che ai o pneumati. En in che ai che istu se onas tone onon amin. Alleluia. Lesson in Master Theos, Catatomegaleos, to the Methasu Pacus and Kilegison, Kilason, Kirielason, Kirielason. Again, we pray for the repose of the soul of God's servant Paraskevi, departed this life, 
and for the forgiveness of every sin, whether delivered or unintended. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. That the Lord God will establish her soul where the righteous dwell. God's mercies, the kingdom of the heavens, and remission of her sins. Let us ask of Christ our mortal King and God. Grant this, O Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. You are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your servant. Let us give you who has fallen asleep, O Christ our God. And to you we give the glory as to your Father, who is from everlasting, and your holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and always and forever and ever. Amen. Your hands have made me and for me. Enlighten me that I may learn your commandments. Have mercy on me, O Lord. Though I have shriveled like a wineskin in the smoke, I have not forgotten your rules of life. Be merciful to me, O Lord. So si mi ego so son me, otita dike o mata su exesitisa. Elei son me kirie. Ακραντές κατ' εδίαξε τα δακρύα Από τον κρίμα τον σου και κλίνα ότι εσύ ο νομοθέτη σας με ελέγησον με Κύριε In return for your mercies my heart is set on following your commandments until the ages of ages have mercy on me, O Lord. My Lord, for you to act, the time is upon us, for they have transgressed your law. Be merciful to me, O Lord. Doxa patricio, que hay eu pnevmati. Enin, que hay que estu se onas ton eonan amin. Eleison me kirie, kirie. Κύριε Δεϊθόμεν, Κύριε Λέησον, ότι εσύ η Ανάσταση, η ζωή και η ανάπαυση τη και κοιμημένη δούλη σου Παρασκευή, Χριστέ ο Θεό Σιμών, και εσύ την δόξα να πέμπουμε στην το ανάρχωση του Πατρί και του Παναγίου και αγαθό και ζωπιό σου πνεύμα την ή και αή και ει του αιώνα των αιώνων. Αμήν. Have mercy on me, Alleluia. Look upon me and be gracious to me. As to those who love your name, Alleluia. Neoteros ego imi ke exudenomenos ta dikeomata su epelathomi. Alleluia. Is fonis mu akuson kirie kata to eleosu kata to krimasu zison me Alleluia. Arkandes kate diktion ke dorea apo to logosu sin diliase ikaradia mu. Alleluia. My soul shall live and praise you, and your law shall be my support. Alleluia. I wandered as a sheep who lost the trodden path. Come and seek your servant, Lord, for your commandments I have not forgotten. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your commandments. The choir of the saints has found the source of life and the gateway to paradise. May I also find the way through repentance. I am the sheep that was lost. O Savior, call me back and save me. Εις τον καθομοίο συνδέπε πανάγαγε τον αρχαίον κάλος αναμορφώσαστε. Ευλογητός η Κύριε διδαξόν με τα δικαιώματά σου, η εικόνη μη της αρήτου δόξης σου, η και στίγματα φερών πνεσμάτων, η κτήρισον τον σον πλάσμα δεσποτά και καθάρισον σύνη ευσπλαχνία, 
και την φωτεινή πατρίδα παράσκουμι παραδείσου πάλιν ποιον πολίτηνε. Ευλογητός σε Κύριε διδαξόν με τα δικαιώματά σου αναπαύσον ο Θεός την δούλη σου και κατέταξω απ' την εμφαραντήσω όπου χωρί τον Αγίον Κύριε και οι δίκαιοι ευλογήσουν ως προστήρες την και κοιμημένη δούλη σου αναπαύσε όνειρον απ' του απ' την πάντα τα εγκλήματα. Δόξα Πατρίκιο και Αγιο Πνεύματι, let us devoutly praise the one Godhead as radiant Trinity, singing, Holy are you everlasting Father, co-eternal Son and Holy Spirit, illumine us as we worship you in faith, and deliver us from the eternal fire. Now and forever <coughs> and unto the ages of ages, amen. Rejoice, Holy One who bore God in the flesh, so that all of us could be saved. Through you the human race has found salvation. Through you may we find paradise, for hope your and blessed Theotokos. Alleluia, 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 doxa si o Theos. Alleluia, 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 doxa si o Theos. Alleluia, 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 doxa si o Theos. With the saints, give rest, O Christ, to your departed servant's soul, where there is no pain, no sorrow, no lament, but only life everlasting. survive a person's death. Riches do not go with us, nor does glory accompany us on the way. For when death comes upon us all, 
all these things shall vanish indeed. Therefore let us cry to Christ, the immortal King, give rest to her who is departed from us in the dwelling place of the blessed. There truly past compare is the mystery of death. Now the soul and body far disjoin his restless mind, and their concord is broken, and the bond of nature which made them live and grow as one, now by the edict of God is rest in play. Wherefore now we implore your aid, grant that your servant now gone to rest, where the just that are yours abide, life bestower and friend of mankind. Anna Babsons Dirimo Ritusa I call to mind the prophet who shouted, I am earth and ash, and once again I look with attention on the tombs, and I saw the bones therein which of flesh were naked, and I said, which indeed is he that is king, or which is soldier, which is the wealthy, which is the needy, which the righteous, or which the sinner, but to your servant, O Lord, grant that with the righteous he may repose. My origin and my very being come from your creative you command. For at you will you fashion me a living being from invisible, invisible nature. <coughs> from the earth my body you formed and you gave me a soul by your breath in life giving and divine. So Christ, your servant, rest in the land of the living and the dwellings of the righteous. I weep and with tears lament when with understanding I think on death and see how in the graves there sleeps the beauty which once for us was fashioned in the image of God but now is shapeless, ignoble, and bare of all the graces. Oh, how strange a thing! What is the mystery which concerns us humans? Why were we given up to decay? And why to death united in wedlock? Truly as it is written, these things have come to pass by the ordinance of God, who to her now gone gives rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Your death, Lord, became the cause of immortality. For had you not lain in the tomb, then paradise would not have been opened. Wherefore, as loving God, give rest to her who is now departed from us. Unto you, O Lord, O Makaria Iodos, I por evi simeron, o ti ti mastisi, to posana pavseo. Makaria Iodos, I am for Epsi. 
be attentive. Unto you, O Lord, will I cry. The reading is from the first epistle of the Holy Apostle Paul to the Thessalonians. Praise them, let us be attentive. Brethren, we would not have you ignorant concerning those who are asleep, that you may not grieve as others do who have no hope. For since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have fallen asleep. For this we declare to you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, shall not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a cry of command with the archangel's call and with the sound of the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore comfort one another with these words. Peace be unto you, the reader. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Irene Pasi. Get up nevmatisu. Reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. The Lord said to the Jews who came to him, Truly, truly, I say to you, he who hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life. He does not come into judgment, but has passed from death to life. Truly, truly, I say to you, the hour is coming and now is when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God and those who hear will live. For as the Father has life in himself, so he has granted the Son also to have life in himself, and has given him authority to execute judgment, because he is the Son of Man. Do not marvel at this, for the hour is coming when all who are in the tombs will hear his voice and come forth, those who have done good to the resurrection of life, and those who have done evil to the resurrection of judgment. I can do nothing on my own authority. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just, because I seek not my own will, but the will of the Father who sent me. Ελέησον ημάς ο Θεός κατά το Μέγα Λεός, ο Δεμεθάς ο Επάκουσον και ελέησον. Κύριε ελέησον, Κύριε ελέησον, Κύριε ελέησον. Και τη Δεόμεθα υπέρ ένα παύσεως της ψυχής της και κοιμημένης δούλης σου Παρασκευή και υπέρ της συγχωρηθήν αυτήν πάμπλε με λίμα ακούσιοντε και ακούσιον. Κύριε ελέησον, Κύριε ελέησον, Κύριε ελέησον. Όπως Κύριος ο Θεός τάξει την ψυχήν αυτής, εν θα ήδη και αναπαύονται τα λέει του Θεού την Βασιλεία των Ουρανών και άφεσιν των αυτής αμαρτίων προ Χριστό του θανάτου Βασιλή και θόημον ετισόμεθα. Παράσκου Κύριε, let us pray to the Lord. 
God of spirits and of all humankind, as you trample down death, overthrowing the evil one, and granting life to your world, will you, Lord, grant rest to this, your servant, Padaskivi, now asleep in death, in a place of light, a place of renewed life, a joyous place, shunned alike by pain and sorrow and sighing. Every sin she may have committed in word or deed or thought, as our good and loving God forgive, for no one can live and not sin. You alone are without sin. Your righteousness endures forever, and your word is truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. You are the resurrection life from the repose of your servant fallen asleep, but us give O Christ our God, and to you we give the glory as to your Father who is from everlasting in your holy good and life-giving spirit, now and always and forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> Ότι εσύ η ανάσταση, η ζωή και μακαρή ανάπαυση τη και ακυμημένη δουλή σου παρασκευή, Χριστέ ο Θεό Σιμών, και εσύ την όξα να πέμπουμε εν του ανάχου του πατρί και του Παναγίου και αγαθό και ζωπίο σου πνεύματι, νυν και αϊ και ει του αιώνα των αιώνων. Glory to you, O God, our hope, glory to you. May he who is sovereign of the living and the dead, who is immortal king, rose from the dead, Christ our true God. Through the prayers of his all pure and holy mother, of the holy, glorious, and praiseworthy apostles, of our holy and God bearing fathers, of the holy and glorious forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and of his beloved friend Lazarus, the holy and just, who lay four days in the tomb, and all the saints, assign the soul of his servant Paraskevi, departed from our midst, where the righteous dwell, granting it rest in the bosom of Abraham, and numbering her among the just. And may he have mercy on us, for he is good and loves mankind. Oh, you, may your memory be eternal, dear sister, worthy of blessedness and ever to be remembered. May your memory be eternal, dear sister, worthy of blessedness and ever to be remembered. <laughs> Often times in the life of a priest that we get to see many beautiful things, many difficult things as well. I remember the first time I went over to Luca and Betty's house with Father George to visit. And I think we planned on about a half hour to an hour window, and I think we were there for about two and a half hours because there was not one time that we did not walk into their home that we weren't welcomed with philoxenia, with hospitality. And Betty would light up. This is the Betty that I knew in my four years here. I didn't see Betty in her heyday. I didn't see Betty in, her, in, her, in all her glory, but I saw Betty's heart in all of her glory because every time we would visit, she would light up. She'd want to talk. We'd have conversations. Even when I thought she was getting tired, she wanted to keep talking, and it was beautiful. And she often said how much she watched us on the live stream and how much she wished she could be here in church. And Father Dimitri and I were both commenting that Betty has a smile on her face as she lay here in front of us 
because I think she's back to where she's wanted to be for a very long time. And today she looks up at our beautiful Pandokratora, up at our Creator. But the beauty of today, although we will miss her very much, and I know her family, who has stood by her side through thick and thin, will miss her, she is free. She is free from her bed. She is free from all of the, the, the pains, the sorrows, the suffering that she endured. And what does she leave us? She leaves you strong. Because what I saw was a faithful family standing by each other. I watched a husband who did everything for this woman. Everything. Someone who gave of himself so much so that Betty could have whatever life the Lord blessed her with. And she didn't complain one bit. I get a cold and I complain. Okay, we all do that. Betty did not complain one bit. And it just shows you the faith, the deep faith and the deep love that she embodies. When I got the phone call Monday morning, I have to tell you from Jimmy, I was not surprised. And this is why. And this is another moment where I say, thank you, God, for allowing sometimes that little extra communication between God and his clergy. I was just sharing this with Father Dimitri this morning. Jimmy had mentioned at the festival that Betty was failing and not, and it didn't look like it would be too long. So she had been on my mind the whole weekend. So Sunday came, went to bed, and sometimes, you know, you remember certain, you remember certain dreams. I'm not going to get into we Greeks and our dreams, because sometimes we read into them way too much. But I had a dream because I was thinking of Betty, that we were sitting in your house, Luca, and it was just me and you at first, just sitting at the table talking, and in walked Father George and Betty. And I say walked because I've never seen Betty walk. I haven't had that opportunity, but in they walked. And then I woke up with a smile on my face. And when Jimmy called me the next morning to tell me that Betty had passed, I said, thank you, Lord. Thank you for giving me that window into the kingdom to know that she is well, that she is embraced by her God, and that she is okay. You will miss her. We will miss her. Your grandmother, your mother, your spouse. But she is now free of all of those ailments that afflicted her. That is the memory that we have that will be everlasting. We don't remember her bed bound. We won't remember her bound by her illness. We will remember her walking. And even the man who never saw her walking standing in front of you will remember her that way as well. May her memory be eternal. At this point, we will have Philip and his crew come up from Solon's uh, funeral home and prepare Betty for our final embrace. We ask that you follow their direction coming forward to pay your final respects and that you go directly to your cars to allow the family to have an opportunity for private moments. We will then head to Oak Spring Cemetery for the interment, and then you're all invited to return back here for the Makaria. May her memory be eternal.
set their hope on you. Intercede, we pray to you with our greatly gracious Lord, that repose may be granted her, that now is departed, in that habitation where repose the souls of the just and on to everlasting remembrance set her in the courts of the righteous made all blameless as the air of blessings divine. So
Sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be pure. Cleanse me, and I shall be whiter than snow. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness of it, the world and all that dwell in it. You are dust, and to dust you shall return. Let us pray to the Lord, for you are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your departed servant, Paraskevio, Christ our God, and to you ascribe glory, together with the beginningless Father, your all-holy good and life-creating Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages.